So here we have our white sweet clover, the um, Meliodas alba. And what I do is gather these top, top leaves, top, top portions of the flowering uh, soft stem, the, uh, the stems before they get really big and hard. Chins that have to do with chronic venous insufficiency, where you have discoloration in the lower extremities, uh, a tendency towards cellulitis, inflammation. With one of the recent uh, viral outbreaks that we've had, there has been reports of uh, a person recovered from the viral insult, yet the virus has e attacked the capillary bed, the venous cells of the uh, venous of the veins. So what you have at the very lowest end of the circulation in the foot, you have a redness in the toes, you have inflammation, you have what they're calling the viral toe. Uh, this is an excellent medication for that person who has recovered from the virus and now has this uh, sort of a new condition that they didn't have previous uh, where the inflammation and the, uh, the, the bed, the capillary bed at the uh, venous portion of the body is not functioning effectively. This is a restorative uh, tea that you use. You gather the first tops, only good, safe medicine for um, both situations of edema, chronic insufficiency, chronic uh, venous in insufficiency, and also, as I've said, for these this new condition that people are seeing, for people who have recovered from a viral insult, and now the... Uh, virus has in some way ne negatively affected the uh, the capillary bed at the venous uh, return system. But if you're gathering them, I would gather the yellow and the the yellow and the white separate. And uh, you tie it up uh, with a string tight from a porch or someplace where it's dry and then it will uh, it will actually increase its medicinal uh, qualities for uh, chronic uh, venous insufficiencies of uh, the return, return of the, uh, the, the venous blood, uh, it, it, mainly in the lower extremities, but you'll see this often um, as people get older, they have uh, the different valves and circulatory issue in the, uh, in the southern Selkirks probably down here now at about 3,000, 3,500 feet. And this is an excellent non-native plant for venous insufficiency. Any type of edema, any type of swelling, anything that's happening where the, uh, you know, we, there's a tendency to talk about lymph and uh, lymph and return and edema and so on. Well, this is a medicate, this is a plant, this is a safe safe plant and it addresses that edematous tissue those edematous tissues by actually nourishing nourishing the venous beds for a person that's uh, of fairly good health with increasing age with that venous insufficiency this is an excellent safe tea plant medication. It doesn't transfer to a tincture. This is strictly a tea medicine. The white sweet clover, so the leaves and the flowers. I'm basically gathering the very top portion with the leaves, these small little leaves and uh, the very tender, tender portions. And of course we'll dr be drying this. It's extremely has a beautiful uh, fragrance, and the fragrance actually increases as it dries, uh, as the coumarin kind of matures, which is uh, one of the uh, hallmarks of this plant. But white. Uh, sweet white clover, a plant to know, a plant to gather, a plant to uh, be aware of for your, uh, for people to heal their bodies on the medicine road. Continuing on a medicine road.